so that's a GTX 1650 over there and it's currently running on nice hash yes here it is so in this video we'll be discussing about the hash rates and how reliable is this GeForce GTX 1650 graphic card on nice hash and what are the algorithms what are the overclocks and all other stuff hey guys all about technology 24 into 7 here if you like what you're watching I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also like this video if you did. Let's now get started. So here we are on our desktop and as I showed you in the earlier part of this video as you can see here is nice hash app and running. Let me show you the devices. So here I have AMD Ryzen 3 3200G. Yes it's mining Monero. And here is our graphics card that's Asus GeForce GTX 1650. This is the Phoenix Overclock Edition that comes with 4 gigs of memory. As you can see here, 54 degrees Celsius, 100%, 83% fan speed, etc. So let me show you the algorithm what I'm using here. As you can see, I'm using NB Miner, and here it is the hash rate. So today it's a little bit low. So let me show you a little bit above what I was getting. It went all the way up to 7.10 mega hashes and yes as you can see there 7.136 it was maintaining pretty good 7.1 but with like few of the shares recent shares the performance has dropped a little bit here as you can see that may be due to various factors but it will pick up again that's for sure I have seen this trend previously as well as you can see the profitability is somewhere around 70 rupees Indian rupees and when I roughly translate it to US dollars it's somewhere nearly a little bit lesser than one dollar right now my CPU is also mining a little bit there it's like seven rupees or something that's very less so we can neglect that so in US dollars it's a little bit lesser than one dollar what it's making per day and the highest profitability rate what I have got on this card is let me show you a screenshot of it as you can see it's somewhere around one point above one dollar I can say 1.02 or 1.03 dollars as you can see 91 rupees this was like uh, six days ago mostly the price of Bitcoin at that point of time was somewhere around 43 lakh whereas at the moment the price of one BTC is 42,72,000 as you can see considering the electricity what it's consuming right now so I didn't calculate it in like exact what to say exact units so let's see in this one I mean the NB miner what it's showing 104.3 K watt and for this electricity I mean this much of power consumption it's somewhere around 30 rupees to somewhere around 40 rupees for a week yes I don't run this like 24 into 7 I run it for like 8 hours 9 hours like that I live in Bangalore and it will definitely depend upon the area where you live like in other cities in India the electricity costs vary like it changes from city to city state to state and country to country so definitely based on the location where you are currently it will differ so these are the hash rates of the GTX 1650 it will roughly give you somewhere around 7.1 max and let me show you the overclocks what I have done so let me open my GPU tweak okay so this thing opens up from here as you can see these are my overclocks at the moment fan speed is on 83% I have said just because if I put it to 100% it's very loud actually so 83% is more than enough it stays on around 54 degrees Celsius not more than that on 83% speed memory as you can see I have set it to 8024 and plus 22 it says also talking about voltage I haven't changed that the boost frequency I have set it to 1760 plus 80 it says as you can see power target is obviously 100% so, so I have not changed that so these are my basic overclocks what I have done here yes I haven't done like extreme overclocking here and little bit of overclocking for a little bit better performance so do let me know in the comment section below what else do you want to see about mining and what else do you want to see about the 1650 or any other graphic card or whatever it is do let me know in the comment section I'll definitely try to cover all those so this was a quick little video talking about the hash rates of GTX 1650 as of March 28 2021 
so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this also do follow me on instagram link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display this is all about technology 24 into 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day peace